Figueroa versus Maxeo. Post fight thoughts. Well, this was a very entertaining fight. Um, I was very impressed. I was very, very, very impressed. And it, it, it came out how I figured it would. Uh, first and foremost, salute to Mark Maxeo and salute to Brandon Figueroa. It was all business in there. They didn't, neither guy showed up to lose. You know, um, but what you see is what you get. And you you kind of figured out that it would play like this. It would play out like this. Um, if there was a bunch of knockdowns, um, it wouldn't have shocked me at all. Uh, but we expected a solid, solid, solid fight. And that's what we got. Um, I didn't understand Steve Farhood, Farhood's uh, uh, scoring. I disagreed with some rounds. Um, I sort of figured that uh, Mark McSayo would uh, come out in the first five or six rounds. He might uh, win them uh, lopsided. But the uh, problem that I knew would be Figueroa turning it up in the uh, championship round, second half of the fight. Let me tell you, man, Brandon keeps coming like Jason Voorhees and Michael Myers. He just keeps coming. He does not stop. Uh, he has a hell of a chin. Um and um he's all business in there man he's a very exciting guy to watch man um whenever he's fighting i, I watch it man this 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 kid is <laughs> you gotta like watching him man um <clears throat> and, uh, mark mcsayo uh i did read the keys to victory um it, it, it was it, you would think that he was listening um he did sneak in a couple of uppercuts there and um uh Laying on the ropes was an absolute no-no against a guy like Figueroa. Um, when he kept the fight in the center of the ring, um, he did better. But there were some things that I noticed. First of all, Brandon, you know, his head movement was kind of, not kind of, it was very decent. Um, he did get hit a few times, but I did like to see his head move. Um, there were spots in the fight where Mark would stop and throw like four, five, six punch combinations. He'd land like three and miss the other three. There was one uh, time where he threw, um, uh, how many? He threw about uh, like uh, six, he threw like three hooks in a row, like all of them landed and then a right hand and then the last two punches missed. But um, what you noticed is in the second half of the fight, Again, Brandon kept coming. And not only that, he didn't lose the he didn't lose the the like the entire first half of the fight. In fact, he kind of split. And then going into the championship rounds, the body work, I gotta tell you guys, man, body work will net you dividends. They will pay dividends, man, because he was committed to that, man. And, and Brandon listened to his corner and it showed because because Ma, Maxeo started to get very tired. Now it had everything to do with the body uh, work that Figueroa was putting out. It had everything to do with it. Um, round eight, I believe, he was deducted a point and he was deducted a point later on in round 10 or 11 i forget and it's, it's crazy it's late i just saw it too but he was he was deducted two points um the the round that he was deducted and i believe um farhood had it a nine nine round which was mind-boggling but whatever uh later on that made it a 10 eight round right on farhood's uh uh card um rounds 10 11 and 12 it was obvious maxaya was just tired he was on fumes uh, two times uh, he went to the floor. That was just fatigue. 
and you saw the frustration in Brandon. He was like, yo, come on. Man. You can't keep doing this. Um, but he did it three times. He got away with it. There was no point there. Um, but uh, round 12, uh, Mark tried to turn up on him. And then once that fell to the wayside, uh, Brandon turned it up on him. And he did go for the knockout, man. He did go for the knockout. And um, he didn't. He didn't knock him out, but uh, he overwhelmed him. Um, I rate uh, body work, uh, defense, ring generalship. The ring generalship, in my opinion, towards the last part of the fight was all Figueroa. Um, he was walking him down. Um, there were times where he did pin him against the ropes. Um, he made Maxayo very uncomfortable. But to Maxayo's credit, his style was it would offset Figueroa in a lot of spots. And um, it was awkward enough that Figueroa couldn't catch him clean. So um, this was uh, stylistically a very, very fun fight. But uh, I do agree with the call. Um, those scorecards, I'll let y'all have a conversation about that. <laughs> I'll let y'all have a conversation about that. That uh, Was it that close? Well, was it that far widespread? You can make the case. That means all those close rounds that Farhood was giving Maxayo, the judges gave it to Figueroa. Um, of course, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say of course. I'm going to say, well, maybe Maxayo will, will say, you know, maybe I think I want to fight or, you know, whatever. But, you know, it's boxing. We get that a lot. Um, great fight. Very entertaining. Uh, salute to both men. I do agree with the winner, though. Whether you agree with the uh, uh, the the spread of the scores or not, I do ag agree that Brandon Figueroa won. Um, defense was a little be better. Um, he was going from right to southpaw. He did his thing. And uh, a salute to Maxayo with the Naruto tattoo on his left forearm. I just noticed that. Salute to him. Uh, man, listen, nothing to hang your head about, Maxayo. You know, back to the drawing board. Get back in the, in the wins column. And um, it's not over for him. He's still young. He's still very durable. Still has a lot of talent. And, you know, we'll see what's next. Um, and I'm not even going to hold you. I wouldn't mind if they revisit this fight again. This was a very, very fun fight, man. Popcorn was out. And, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I really, really, really enjoyed this one. So salute to both fighters. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Fun for me. Bronx on deck.